worse. Prince Harry and Meghan or Twitter? That is the question I am going to be putting forth to you people this morning. On who is worse, Prince Harry and Prince Harry, Meghan, or Twitter? <laughs> so, I, um, it's very early for me. I actually really haven't slept because so many ex exciting things happened late last night and I've been excited and looking at things. Um, sure that you've heard about Elon Musk and I will, uh, I will, um, touch on that. And th there's going to be some things from my previous video in here, but I'll explain those. But this is going to be quick because I feel it's very important to get this out to folks. Uh, the more and more I, I'm figuring out more and more what's going on. So I'm bringing you along with me as each step goes. So I don't bombard you with a whole bunch of stuff. So let's get started. So Elon Musk said he was not going to join Twitter's board of directors. Uh, that announcement came out last night, I think at like nine o'clock, nine thirty, ten o'clock, somewhere around there. Um, that's a good thing. So that's a good thing. So just watch the stock markets today. Don't get all worried that, you know, that's a, a good thing. So uh, if you watch the previous videos, just watch today. I'll be making another one later, but this meme says it all. So then I'm not sure most of you probably know who Juanita Broderick is. She is a woman that had an affair with former President Clinton and her Twitter account got suspended last night. Why? I have no idea, but I don't know. She's been on there forever. Um, you know, they just seem to be doing what they're doing. It's almost like somebody's laying a trap for them, but whatever. So she got suspended. She got suspended. Okay, and then now we're going to get into the sort of exciting stuff. Because in my video, my previous video about um, Twitter, I have said that there's, you know, bots for Facebook and YouTube and Twitter, obviously, and, and all the other social media platforms have these bots. But Twitter's really the one I think that's known for it. Well, I just happened to get on Facebook and I'm not really on, on there that often anymore. But I got on there and I saw something. I found the Facebook bots. And they're not who the Facebook bots are not who you think they are. Let me show you. So I was just scrolling through and I saw a buddy of mine uh, post on Facebook. I blacked out his name. And he said, bye, Felicia. And that was six days ago. That's how not often I'm on there or whatever. And then... Um, and he posted this tweet from this guy, Jay Mulholland. And it was this tweet, maybe people have seen it. You know, he was, he, you know, saying, I'm, I work at Twitter, I'm going to quit. Elon Musk is going to ruin it. Whatever he said, the usual whiny cry stuff. So that's the last I heard of it. But as I was flipping, I saw the, the Facebook thing on there. The missing contact by the fact checkers. Now, Facebook has their own fact checkers and everything, whatever. They do their thing, and I will get into more about Facebook later, but you'll see why I needed to get this out. So, but that didn't really jump out at me because it kind of just blended it in with each because I have it on dark mode. So as I kept flipping, scrolling, this, all of this stuff ended up under his post. So there's missing context and that you should be able to click Missing context, see why you should be able to click there and then that's it. But all of this was under his post. Fact check, fact check, fact check, fact check, fact check. And they're all disputing that this kid's uh, tweet was satire and not true. Now, doesn't that look a little excessive for somebody just posting? And, and Facebook obviously is going to be able to read the pictures. But doesn't that look a little ex excessive, like a whole bunch of bots attacked this kid's post? And now, I don't really know. I don't think that Twitter and Facebook really like each other. 
that's the impression I'm under. I could be totally wrong, but that's what I think. And I think that's probably what a lot of people think. So what would Facebook care if that was, because in, in essence, that meme is giving Twitter a bad name or a bad look. I mean, look at this. Let me go back. So he just posts a picture of this. They have their scanners, you know, however Facebook works, they do their picture scan. That's on there. Makes kind of Twitter's employees look like idiots. Not that everybody doesn't already. I don't need a fact checker to lie to me and tell me they're not. But anyway, post that. Fact check, fact. That looks like a bot attack, a swarm of bots. Twitter bots. So I saw that I'm like, okay, so Twitter bots are on Facebook. So Facebook probably has their own bots, but somehow Twitter bots are all linked in to attack this post with all, like, you know, obviously political fact, even though they are what they are, and all these things, they're not Twitter bots. But because all these articles are all being now going to be linked on Twitter, <clears throat> <clears throat> that's how it all works. So Twitter bots pretty much have infected everything. They are the virus, in my humble opinion. Twitter is the virus to everything. Each social media has their own bots for their own agendas. But Twitter seems to infect everything. And I will take this a step further. So I yeah I thought to myself well well there's there's uh, there's Twitter bots right there, so then so then I'm just like looking around I'm looking around you know just looking at social media trying to fall asleep couldn't fall asleep, so I started looking things up and I looked up Twitter because I wanted to I don't even remember what I was looking for so as I was scrolling through here one is so I was just zipping through and I saw that it said in September, October, blah, 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 there's a new Twitter, an entirely revamped edition of Twitter.com. Changes included the ability to see pictures. I wasn't on, I don't know what Twitter looked like before, but including the ability to see pictures and videos without leaving Twitter itself by clicking on individual tweets, which contain links to images and clips from a variety of supported websites, including YouTube. And then a complete overhaul of the interface, which shifted links such as at mentions, retweets, blah, 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 blah. So then a bunch of couple things went through my mind. So one was um, Megan's Mole had stopped by Getter the other day and posted one of her videos and she posted um, she posted her video and then she said via at YouTube cop you know puts the YouTube thing on there like everybody does on Twitter if they post a YouTube video and I said to her I go you don't have to do that here I just kind of you know, joked it off, but I remembered that. And then I also remembered, um, and mind you, I only got on Twitter, and I've said this many times, at the end of June. So I don't know what was going on before that, but then I also remembered that the Shart Squad podcast, they lost their um, Twitter account for supposedly for a DCMA or DMCA, whatever, whatever that is. They lost their account because of that. But they got another account, but that's okay. You know, nobody's allowed if you get suspended. Yeah, but they're allowed. So, um, but they lost that, So, which put everybody on notice. And I don't know if this was going on beforehand, but now thinking about it, was that just a, a way to make sure that everybody makes sure to use at, via at YouTube with the videos? Because if you, th and then, and when I was on Twitter before, um, before the election, and I had gone on, you know, I, I had an account and stuff, but I would, politics, like, I would post videos, and, and people that I was talking to posted videos, and nobody even, I thought that was so bizarre when people said to me, 
Oh, you gotta you gotta copy YouTube on it, or else they'll hit you with a copyright thing and you'll get suspended. I thought that was so weird. Because YouTube doesn't own the copyright to that music. You're sharing YouTube's link, so what's the problem? Like, I, I don't get it, but now I do. Now I do. So if they're at YouTube, so just follow, hear me out here. So then, um, so then that took me another step further. Because, yeah, it's ridiculous to have to hit via at YouTube, but the, the Sussex Squad, you know, they never post videos. And they're always, like, scaring everybody to, that your account's going to get suspended, you better get this, or the Sussex Squad's going to get you, you have to get this tag on. Tag YouTube, tag YouTube, tag YouTube. Well, there's your tag. All right? And then, so, I also remembered that when they got rid of all these those Q people um, off of Twitter, well, all those, a lot of those Q people had videos that they made on YouTube. Well, when they got wiped off of, and they had to, they were being told to do the at YouTube too. You'll get a copyright, or you, you have to do this. You, even though it's theirs, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this. I didn't really follow them, but I know, I saw on the note that they, I remember. So when they got all wiped off of Twitter, they also got wiped off of YouTube immediately. Because it was already really easy with these Twitter bots. Hold on. Right? So it's clear that Twitter somehow's bots spread and infect other social media platforms. I mean, that's clear. This is clear. So, so yeah, so it was like one big flip of the switch. And they were all crying, like, I lost all my video. You know, gone. Because everything was already linked up and infected. So then that takes us to these two women. So, again, I'm not on Twitter. How often were people, people shared Yankee Wally's videos pretty often, didn't they? And I'm sure like good little unsuspecting victims doing what they were told were at YouTubing. Via at YouTube on all of Yankee Wally's videos. Just the same as Sue Smith's videos. Sue Smith herself was probably doing that because that's what everybody thinks they're supposed to do. Right? So, taking it now in another step further, when Sue Smith lost her YouTube channel, and then she posted, oh, I lost, I don't know what's going on with my channel, but I, I've uploaded or I'm uploading all my videos to Daily Motion." And then, I don't know, what was it, an hour or two? A half a day at the most? I mean, it was like lightning speed. Which I also thought was strange. And then that got wiped out. Which I also thought was strange. Because, you know, not that I'm anybody important. But I had never even heard of Daily Motion until that happened that day to her. I'm like, Daily Motion? What is that? I'd never heard of it before. So, I mean, I'm not totally out of, in the, I'm not in the loop, but I'm not totally out of it either. So she probably uploaded some videos or said Daily Motion. I'm sure there was a link in there somewhere. I'm uploading these videos and they hit the, they, somebody with the evil Twitter bots probably put that thing. I mean, they probably zapped that through the at Daily Motion and all the, whoever were reporting Sue's tweet. They probably reported the shit out of that tweet. Sue saying, uh, my daily motion, I'm uploading these videos to daily motions. They probably reported the fuck out of that tweet. However they do it. And then that like literally zapped daily motion to shut it down. Just a theory. But, I mean, it, Again, and, and it, I wouldn't have thought much of her getting this daily motion getting shut down if I had ever heard of it. But the fact that I never heard of it made it that much even more strange to me that they would even 
get it down or even know what was going on if I had never even heard of it. How would they know that, you know, it's, what are they following in the news? So anyway, so my, uh, my, um, suggestion to everybody on Twitter is don't share anybody's videos anymore. Or if you do, I guess you can share it. Don't do the via at YouTube, but you don't want to lose your, you know, who knows what games they play. I'd just screenshot it and say, hey, they put a video up. Or if you have a blog like that Teresa Longo fans blog, tell them to stop putting their link on there. That's how, that's, it's, that's what's going on. Because again, Facebook doesn't give a shite if Twitter looks bad, right? Boom. That's, I mean, right? So yeah, I just stop linking. No more links to anybody's stuff. That would be my suggestion. I don't know. Do what you want. I'm not on Twitter. Um, my videos, and I'm not saying, I don't don't get shared that often on Twitter anyway, so I'm not really worried about it, but I just wouldn't, and I'd just screenshot it and say, hey, go, you know where to find them, they released one, or whatever, but no blogs, no links, no links to anybody's anything through Twitter. Everything's probably already infected anyway, but thank good, I'm looking at Elon Musk on the television right now, so maybe this will get cleaned up. Twitter's the, vi not only is Twitter the ultimate Twitter bot. Twitter's the virus of all social media. They're literally a fucking, Twitter's a fucking virus. Oh my God. So the, I'll just get in deeper to that later. And so then I had a visitor on Getter in the middle of the night also. So let me tell you about them. <laughs> Which also has to do with Wally and Sue Smith and me and Elon Musk, you know. So this, uh, this account, um, Reality in Royalty, stops by, and they're here for, and these are key indicators of liberal woke speech, here for dignity and facts alone. So there you go. So just want to run over what they had to say. Of course, my got the usual get on your damned meds i it was th something about ukraine that i was talking to this british patriot guy about get on your damned meds that isn't news just like most bullshit spun here isn't news because it's intended to destroy america yeah these people who are anti everything american don't want it Try facts. They last longer than the diluted bullshit you post. Well, who fucking asked you? And th this is, I'm, what I'm going to show you is their only getter activity. This is it. Unless they've done something since I've been on there. So, so I got mine. Get on your damn meds. Then, uh, hey, Yankee Wally. Did you take the gay pledge since the only people who will be hearing you are on Rainbow Radio? Gays and Trump haters who don't give a shit about royalty. Wink. So, first of all, every gay American man that I know loves the royal family. They loathe Meghan Markle. Um, because they can, spot a, they can spot a bitch when they see one, too those gays and then they could they also like royalty and um jewels and crowns and pomp and cir circumstances and castles and everything like that they love that shit so you're wrong about that and i don't know why these people think that if so, because somebody doesn't like trump they're gonna automatically like Meghan markle <laughs> and we've, I've, you know, I've got Democrat. So anyway, so there's Wally's. Then here's Elon Musk. They had to get it. So this person thinks that they are important. You know how some of them think they're important, like they're somebody. You can always tell. Elon isn't doing a thing with Twitter, but playing stock games. Times for the Securities and Exchange Commission to take a close look at Musk's actual books. 
Okay. Well, I don't have anything other to say about any of that other than this is a fucking sugar who thinks they're somebody. I have my own theories who it is, but I will not share. So there's that one. And then this one. Everyone's so jolly with Yankee and Sally's new gig. You do know it's LGBT radio and anti-Trump. So? It gets less play than Rumble. Okay. <laughs> uh... And then, did Wally and Sally suddenly become gay royal advocates? So this is where they're at, folks. This is the, so this person literally had to go out of their way to come and make a fool out of themselves on Getter. So I did make a fool of them on Getter, and I'm making a fool out of them here. But, you know, this isn't Twitter where they just have to type in my handle. They have to leave wherever fucking gutter they came from do all this stuff they aren't following any of us do all this stuff just to make a fool out of themselves so they're angry they're trying to I don't know what this person I mean so and then there was at they might see this by now but at Yankee Wally Long Sally y'all give Sobel the gay support pledge because her gimmick is rainbow radio LGBT community and anti-Trump and no interest in non-expert experts bullshit. What? Like, does he think that, like, or or who he think that, like, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know what they think. Did they think that because this is going to be on an LGBTQ radio station that we're going to have an issue with that? Do they think that just because it's anti-Trump, somebody's going to have an issue with that? <laughs> Do they think that anti... I mean, I don't know what these people think. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. But they don't... Whatever they're thinking, it's wrong. So. Oh, oh, I forgot about this. these things here. So then Dr. Zane, you know Dr. Zane... So they're starting Twitter manipulation. So she writes, in the coming days, use the hide reply feature. Also, help friends by alerting them to apply when you encounter the line steppers. Don't argue, don't debate. Well, okay. This is they usually do this when something's coming up. However, those Invictus games don't start till next Saturday. So why is she saying in the coming days? That would mean, like, to me, that means, like, Monday, Tuesday, at the latest, Wednesday. So it all has something to do with Twitter, but this is definitely platform manipulation. It has something to do with all this stuff. They, Dr. Zane obviously knows something that we don't, or they're planning something. <clears throat> and then there was... Uh, this mayor of McCullough tweets, A few goodwill suggestions as we support Prince Harry and the veterans. Well, shouldn't it be the veterans and Prince Harry, if you even met? But anyway, and then they, they use the hashtag IG22. So if I was on Twitter, I would make sure to use that same hashtag. But... So then there's there's these tips here. Like and retweet a charity's tweet. Comment with a heart under charity tweet. Like all the positive squad comments so that they remain on the top. Report and block all negative troll comments. Spend your time and energy in spreading love and not fighting trolls. A charity's mentions are not your battleground. Do not tag quote, retweet, post screenshots of negative tweets there. Only post positive comments under charity tweets, meaning Invictus or anything to do with Invictus, no matter how painful it may be to ignore negative comments. Drown out the negativity with positive positivity only. Sussex Squad. As you all know, Invictus Games is more than just an event for veterans' community. Well, what do you mean? What? Shouldn't it, 
like the veterans, what more could there be? What more could it be about than the veterans? Evidently, there is. You all know the Invictus Games is more than just an event for veterans community. So, there's a PR tactic here. They're trying to prove something. They're trying to catch people. They're trying to what, you know, you know the drill. Therefore, when you see negative in, and insulting comments by royalists and paid trolls under Invictus and Veterans Char Charities tweets, please do not reply, do not argue, only report and block. The usual. So, coming to the end of this now, given that we all know how wretched Harry and Meghan are, but now the Twitter, in my opinion, seems to be not only the ultimate Twitter bot, but it's a fucking virus that infects everything. Social media platforms, and it's my theory that that's what happened to Sue Smith's. Definitely Sue Smith's. You know, Wally's, I don't know about the video, what was going on there, but definitely Sue Smith's because her things got taken out by bots. YouTube has bots, but I don't know if, they're, if YouTube bots are going to act the same as a be an attack because they're all different than Twitter. Twitter's designed for attacking. So those were Twitter bots that came in that attacked through YouTube. And then they did that to her daily motion. Like that. Like that. So who's worse? The uh the uh virus bot or the those two? Looking forward to your comments. Uh, it's going to be a fun day to watch watch all this unfold. Uh, stock markets open up at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States. Talk to you later.